Look, yesterday, I'm always, I'm always discovering new things in the garden and in the past when I've tried to film trapdoor spiders, even if I left the camera out for half an hour, they might not open. It can be very frustrating to watch a, a trapdoor spider open and close its door. But yesterday, I noticed when I was watering the garden, I noticed that a, a fine spray, this is probably, probably already known to people who film insects, but I noticed that a very fine spray met from, this, from this watering can made the, uh, made the spider close its trapdoor. And then uh, a couple of minutes later, it opened it again. So I reason that if you use an atomizer would be better. If you use an anatomizer, you can actually making a fine mist. You could make a, a trap. You could make a trapdoor spider open and close its door in quite a short space of time. In the past, I've actually left that this camera out for what half an hour to an hour, and uh, just just a waste of time. I had to search through all that footage to see if the trapdoor spider's door opened or closed. But it's much easier if you want to get close-ups of the little spider, its eyes and everything. It's much better to focus on the trapdoor and then uh, make a fine mist. I'm going to try that. I just went down to try it but the door was closed so I shall have to wait till the weather heats up maybe this afternoon and I don't have an at atomizer unfortunately but I'll try this again and I think it's going to work. So that's how I'll get lots and lots of uh, shots of the door opening and closing of any trapdoor spider I see. I can't see any around here on the path. Sometimes they're on the path but I mean the doors are so clever. You can only notice them really when they're open because they're so well built and so well camouflaged. See you later then. This is my exciting new discovery.